Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make 3D animation with using Element 3D in After Effects. Let's get started. So, let's create first one new composition. Here, let's uh, I will use full HD size. Second, 10 seconds. Let's click OK for 10 seconds. OK, let's create new solid layer for Element 3D. Add the name Element 3D. Click OK and go to FX Video Copilot and Element. Open Scene Setup. For Add Scene, I will use Terrascape. Use this Snowy Mountain. Click and wait for Adding Scene. OK, and we have already a model and texture. For better results, let's add environment image like an HDRI. Let's click environment and this is basic 2K, it's a default HDRI image and click here, go to downloads, select this HDRI image, click open and waiting for here. Nice, not bad. Click OK and let's see. OK, very nice. I like it. In this time, let's click here and we can enable show ambient occlusion for realistic shadows. Nice. Can change light here. Let's open and we can use sun or we can use natural. Okay, natural is not bad. Let's click OK. Okay, so first of all, let's create new camera tool. Let's right mouse, new and camera and don't change any settings, click OK. And for camera controls, we can use this with buttons. And press C in keyboard for shortcut. Let's change view and we can zoom here. Nice. And let's say, select this element 3D, open render settings and physical environment. Let's enable show in background for C clouds. Nice. And we can change exports here. And gamma. Let's open lighting and use natural. Let's close lighting, open ambient occlusion. Click for enable ambient occlusion and change intensity 10 for realistic shadows. Let's try use fog. Let's open here, enable fog like this and change fog color white or let's try this color. Click OK and change fog range. And fog start distance. Okay, nice, not bad. And let's create new light. I will use uh, parallel light and click cast shadows. Click OK. Now select this light and open inside. We can change view here. Let's select custom V1. And select light, let's open inside. We can change light here. Let's change view. Zoom in here. And change quality full. Let's change light. Okay, and back to active, active camera. And we can change light here. And let's select this element 3D. Go to again element 3D settings. And as you can see here, shadows. Let's open, enable shadow, and change shadow mode ray traced for realistic shadows. And select this light. Let's change points. And can control light like this. And let's open light options, change intensity.
Okay, let's keep like this. Press C and change camera view. Okay, and select this element 3D, go to scene setup. And this time I will add human model in our scene and go to file, import, or preview animation, use 3D sequence. OBG and select first model. This is uh, OBG model. Click open and click OK. Let's change scale for C model. Okay, and we can animate this. Let's change offset. Nice. This is already animated model from Blender. In this time, let's change rotation and click draft textures for fast work change rotation and let's move to up move to back here Click OK. Nice. So change quality quarter for work fast. And let's zoom like this. Let's select this camera and right mouse. Go to camera create orbit null. Click session tool and hold control. Double click pen behind icon for move to anchor point center. And select this null. Let's press P. Make new passing keyframe. Go to here, 10 seconds, and let's move it back and change view like this. Okay, let's open Element 3D model and let's open presets and physical let's use black outline for this or let's try other textures okay this first texture is better so click ok and let's back to first second and preview animation Thank you for watching my live stream. Please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like this live stream.